Hey guys, so I will show you some more coding. By now, you should already know how to connect OBD2 scanner to VCDS. If not, see the other videos. For some Audi TTS, usually newer than 2009, you can activate instrument cluster lap timer, needle sweep and shift light. For my model, which is 2007, you will see that we cannot access instrument channel 36 so if we go to adaptation and we want to access special functions this is 36 it is not available otherwise you could change the values here from 0 to 1 which means that you would activate either needle sweep lap timer or the shift light anyway sadly we can't do this i have some other mods for this in central convenience encoding and long coding helper on byte 11 we can turn on synchronized mirror adjustment and we can exit and do it maybe one more thing which is nice it's to activate daytime running lights in the menu so that you can turn them on in menu and this is again central electronics this is byte 22, here bit 1 tells you that daytime running lights are switchable via menu. This means that if you go to menu, then set, and then you can go here down and lights, external lights, and here you have daytime light and you can switch it on or off. When you are doing coding and all this stuff, make sure that your battery doesn't run out but you can also turn on your car while coding and then your battery is getting recharged then in central electronics what we can do is instead of daytime running lights we can turn on blinkers on byte 7 here we have turn signal front left as parking light and then here is the value which can be inserted let's say 20 so this will be now 20 percent and if we exit and click do it we will have blinkers as daytime running lights in this case you can see that both daytime lights and the blinker is on all the time this is how this looks now And this is how it looks like when you disable the headlight. Thanks for watching and see you next time.